good afternoon everybody and welcome to Chris's Cuddles and I'm going to have to stop doing this aren't I? Yeah, never mind. Right, so today we're going to do the siblings like I said yesterday. But we're going to start with little Timothy. We usually start with Lottie but we're going to have a little change and we're going to bring him on first. He's Lottie's little brother. Yeah, little brother as I call them. They're not really. But the um came from the same well from Matt Fearsons and he was reborn by the same lady and they're more or less apart from the face they're very similar you know in the limbs and stuff they're only little delicate little sprouts look at that little hand it's only as big as my thumb so for him we're gonna try this on it's a Juliana it's like petrol blue colour with little white bits stuck on that shouldn't be there. Get them off. And it's got a little plaid type collar in the same blue, petrol blue, cream and two shades of mustard. A darker one, the lighter one. And it's got a little um, scallop cuff, elasticated cuff. It's got the little Juliana badge at the bottom and it's scallop round the bottom as well. Buttons all the way down the back. And it only comes with little shorts. So I'll pick some socks out. I think they'll be up to his chest then. I don't know why I've got them out, but I've got them in as well. See the little pants that match the collar. So I'm going to put that on him. We're going to try this on him. Let's have a little look at you, little boy. Let's take this off, yeah? I love these type of outfits. These um, thin, thin nicks. Why are we pulling your sock up and got be taking them off now? Silly mummy. This weather don't know what to do. Every day I come on and complaining about weather. Notice cardigan's back on again. <laughs> Just been chucking it down. Paul got his stuff out. Um, I forget what you call them. Workbench type thing gonna make a wooden box you know like a trough for on the front not our front the front front you know under the road sign the council's been doing them all over clock face we've not got nothing so the lady next door but one is on this like clock face in bloom or whatever and uh, she goes round litter picking and all this lot and you know putting going round putting plants in anyway under the sign where it says like you know clock uh, farm clothes she put some pansies in just try to make it look nicer it's only me well us and her bothers um so she's got put well she has put some pansies in and then a load of wood turned up on our front i said to paul where's that wood come from he said oh um i'm gonna make um Look at his knee. I love that knee. A trough. Alison's give us the, the wood. That's that lady I was just telling you about. I thought, oh, Alison's not bloody daft, is she? So I said, no, he's going to put out plants in this. Oh, Alison can get the plants. You know, off this um, club that she's in or whatever they call it. I don't know. Um, so he's trying to make that. So he got set up outside and it started chucking it down. I said, well, why can't you do it at shed? He said, well, there's not a great deal of room there, but I've just come upstairs. He's got his workbench in the porch. If he makes a mess in there, I'll kill him. There'll be sawdust everywhere. So that's what he's doing now. Things you've got to do for living in a nice area. I don't know. Everybody else gets it, but we don't. They put some nice stuff all over clock first. But not here. Probably know they'll get pinched and stuff. I bet when it's made this, I bet you don't last a fortnight before somebody pinches it. Told you didn't have the, um, the houses here. I don't know if you can see them. At the, you know, like over there, well, at the end of that row, next to the end one, they had a little fence like that one down there. See the wooden fence? What you just slot in? See it there? 
there. Um, they had one of them round their house at the front. And one night a bloke pinched two panels. And it shows you on Sunday's same um, camera walking across here at the back with two panels under his arm. So since then they've took all the panels out and just left left the posts. And um, they were supposed to be flagging the front or something. So they've dug it all up, put a load of rubbish on it, you know, uh, bricks and everything and just left it. And it's been like that for absolutely months. Months. Now if that was me, I'd go mad at Paul. I'd say get out there and get that tidied up. It just makes everybody's house look a mess, doesn't it? Some people have no, you know, what, what word do I want? Respect. No, it's not respect. What is it? I don't know. For like where they live and stuff. We was on a, well, Alison again, that lady I was telling you about just, was on a, well, she asked us how we felt about putting some shrubs or something, you know, in this patch of grass here that they keep playing on that we don't want them to play on. This stretch of grass. Putting a few shrubs in there, and then, you know, just for, because Council Mowy, all these gardens without fences, the Council Mowy lawn, um, so they mow that, the council at front. Don't like them too big. I knew they'd keep his legs warm. Um, so I said, just leave enough room for the council for more of the grass. Try to stop the kids playing there. I know it sounds awful, but if you don't if you don't live here, you don't understand what it's like. It's crazy. I mean, it's not as wide as this table I'm working on. Not much wider. And they insist on playing football on it. It's damaging all the cars. It's damaging our garden. They jump over at Walford, get the ball, don't like them. Breaking the lights, what we have round the front. You know, like, you try to make a nice place for yourself and other, other people's kids wreck it because they can't be bothered doing theirs. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's fair. If that was me, I mean, the instigator that started it all doesn't even live here. It's his nan's house. Now, if that was me, and it was Kian, I'd say Kian go and play on the field round there. It was a bloody big field, not ten yards away from here. And they will not go and play on it. They had the play here up back, what we call the red patch, and it keeps coming over the garden then. You keep off getting up, answering the door for giving the ball. Or they play there up front. Neither of them really is um, um, right for playing on, really. When there's a big field there. God, I used to love going away from home when I was little. My mum never used to know where I was. In fact, once, it was it, was it me and Eileen? We went, and we, I mean, we wasn't a quarter of a mile away from our house. I can't remember how old we was. And behind this garage, they had like, um, they had petrol pumps and everything. And then behind that, there was like a garage that wasn't being used, you know, like a garage where you just put your car in. And doors were open and everything. So we went in there playing house. We weren't doing any harm. But we'd been in there. We didn't know it had started going dark. I mean, it wasn't pitch black, but it had started going dark. And when we went home, we said like to one another, come on, we best like go home. When we went home, Mark Grove was out looking for us. My mum went mad. I got battered off my dad. Said he was on about ready for call it police because they wouldn't even dream of going up there. You know, they probably wouldn't think that we'd go that far away. But, I mean, it was a lot safer in them days. You frightened it, really, laying your kids out your sight these days. Right, come on. Oh, little boy. Little, little boy. Oh, never showed you his feet, did I? It's got two open hands, look at the size on them. A little teeny tiny head. It's got a tongue. It's got a scratch, scratch, a scratch. It's got two toned blonde hair, darker the lighter here and here. Let's show you one of his little tootsies. Look at the size on that. It's got a little heel prick. There's only his big toe and his little toe separated. Now look at this one. 
I never stood in my babies, you know, first sock on. I walled them together. I can it be? No, it's all floor. Excuse me a minute. Oh dear. Oh, I want to over this room in a minute when I finish here. It's getting a bit messy in my bedroom as well. In other words, all upstairs. So I've not done my ironing. Not weighted my babies, but I've sorted a jug and stuff out for it to put them in. Right, little boy, have you got everything? Come on, oh, get your big sister. Come on, you lie there next to Andrew. Oh, there's your little footsteps on me, Daddy. We forgot him, didn't we? You all right, Andrew? Right, come on, little Lottie. You did that, dummy. That's you, as Gracie. Come on. Oh, oh, you're only little, but you wear something, don't you? Yeah, look at this little cherub. Love this little girl. So she is Timothy's sister, as I call her. Right for her, Lotte. Now, considering she's only a little dot, <sighs> I'm out of breath. Uh, this is supposed to be newborn. Now, look at the size on that. It's connected to us, so that'll go at the top. We'll try it anyway. I've had this a while, it's never been used. It's only got £9 on, but I don't know where I've got it from. Mini cuddles. Don't know where that's from. So it's like um, soft cotton, long sleeves, uh, with a little bit of ruche cuff, not elasticated. It's got like little pleats coming down there. And then round the bottom, it's got... Um, a goose, a bunny rabbit, a duck, and a mouse. Little mouse there. They're all like that sticky stuff that melts to your iron. And then it's got green leaf, green leaf, a uh, brown leaf with a peach top, a yellow leaf, green leaf, um, peach again, a little acorn, a silver one, silver plant, green, goldy colour. And I don't know what that is. And there's no buttons or anything down the back, so this is going to be fun. Or oh, the little button there, it's got a little mouse's head on. And then at the bottom, the base that's joined on, it's got all them animals. It's got feet in. Oh, there's the mouse. I love little mice, apart from when we get them in the house. Um, a bunny rabbit, a goose, a duck. And it's got little... Fancy work there on the feet. Got to be fun getting in this, isn't it? And if it's too big, I've got a mayoral dress on standby. Right, so let's... Oh, falling out my slippers again. Let's take the label off. I might have to take my cardio off as well. I had one of my sweats this morning. It's the first time I've had one of them for a while. I'm cold and hot. I'm cold and hot. Can't win. Right. Oh, let's pick these up before I suck them up. It's even. Oh. Not bits that come off these parcels. Little plastic bits. Don't want me over clunking. Right, little one. Let's have a look at you. Take your daughter off. I'm going to change those the other day, didn't we? Right, move all your tranquilments. Take your shoes off. Oh, I've had a pair of shoes delivered today from... Um, Team you some little ones like material with a pattern on and a little flower, shiny flower with a pearl in the middle. Got them a dress for me that's too actually too big. And uh, these hangers, I like these hangers instead of putting one of them on, what I have been doing, you put that over your hanger. Let's have a look like that. But you won't, they won't go on big angers. But you put it on like that and then you hang another anger on there. But they keep falling off. But these, they hang together like that. Aren't they nice? So I've got... Uh, oh, only five. Oh, no, I've got two packs. I've got ten. Took the ones. I've not opened it in case I don't need it. But they're cute. I might put them on there. We'll see. Try them. 
I love Timu's baby shoes. They're absolutely lovely. But price you pay for them. So that dress will have to go back. But I said to Paul, I'm undrifting late. Tell me to keep it again like they did with that T-shirt. I said I'll end up with two then because I'm going to reorder it because it's nice. And then I've got another um, lot that come from Timu. Um, I don't know if I've ordered a dress on that one. Or, um, or a skirt. Can't remember. And a, a pair of boy's shoes on that one. And then I've ordered something off um, Sheen. Is it Sheen? Because I've never had anything off there. So I think I've ordered a dress off there. See what their quality is like. Everything you get off Team U is polyester. And it, more often than not, they're all the same shape as well. Said to Paul, perhaps all these uh, Chinese can't follow the pattern. Everything comes from China, doesn't it? That's why they're so cheap. But perhaps they don't know how to follow a pattern. Everything just seems to be straight down like that. And everything is polyester, whether you get a top, a skirt, a dress. What? There's your bracelet. But they do have some lovely, brand new, it all looks lovely on the, on the site. I mean, I've had some nice stuff. I've got nothing on today that was from there. Paul come in my bedroom and just threw it up bed. I thought, you can naff off. You can't say anything, mate. Not that he did. He just threw it up bed and gave me, like, one of Paul's looks. I just went, thank you. <laughs> Wait till the others arrive. Oh, he, he informed me yesterday I should have left them socks on, padded out a bit. Um, the next year, he doesn't think they're going in the caravan. They're getting fed up going in the caravan. They're going, going to go in the hotel. I went, all oh, right, are you? He said, yeah, but not for a week. It can only be for about five days or a, a, a weekend or something. I said, oh, thanks for that then. I said, I thought you was going to say you was, you was going abroad. Because he did use go abroad with him. Because one of his mates that he goes with had um, an apartment in Mercia. So they went there a few years on the run. You know, so I don't know how he can say anything about me, really. I never go through the door, don't smoke, don't drink a lot. Only pleasure I get, buying baby stuff. Not that I need any more. So, like, I've been buying myself a few dresses. Oh, I've got some lovely sandals off Team U. Got three pairs of sandals, all diamonds on them. Not wore any yet. I had to do a review on them today. Come on. So far, so good. Feet's, well, feet's too big. Feet's not in. Could, could have done with some. See, there's not it. Oh, yeah, there is poppers between the legs. Oh, when when we put this on it, I might uh, put a pair of thick socks on as well. Try to pad them out a bit. And I've got to put them, try them shoes. I just don't really want shoes on with this, does she? Come on, sweetheart. Are you in? Yeah, we're in. We're in, Mum. There we go. There we go. It doesn't look as bad as I was expecting it to look, to be honest. I thought it did a very do. It's just the feet, isn't it? Quite cute. Different. Isn't it? Keep you warm. I hope she's here. Oh dear me. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not moaning, I'm yawning. I'm not yawning, I'm coughing. Right, let's have a look. I mean, the sleeves aren't bad, are they? Not a bad fit, really. Just the um, feet. <laughs> That's longer than the dress, isn't it? 
me left. I don't know how, how big they think these babies are these days. Right, Cot, let's find you some thick socks. These are quite thick. Let's try these on you. I like the bottom. Love this. Now we can see all the animals. Oh, dear me. Oh, my tea last night was lovely. I cooked it. Paul was outside doing something. And the chops were gorgeous. Gorgeous. Melted in your mouth. Absolutely gorgeous. Really enjoyed it. We're only having lasagna tonight. Lasagna and garlic bread. Easy. Just bung it in the oven. Well, it's either that or steak. So, Tim, you can have whichever you want. I go with the dates first, you know, which dates up first. We have that. When I buy stuff, when we go shopping, I put them in order, you know, in the fridge. What one's using first? That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit better. Who's this? It's quite thick, then. Quite thick socks. Oh. God, they're things. Look at the legs. Look at the size on them. I think her feet smaller than Toby's. Um, Toby's. Timothy's. Look at that. Posh had athlete's foot then. All the little toes are curled over on that foot. I love babies. Well, dolls. When the toes curl over. I think they look dead cute. I'll not give you any facts on them, have I? Right, little Timothy for my new ones. He is the real born um, Stephen Sleep by Bountiful Baby. He was born on the 11th of April 2023. He's 20 inches in length and he weighs six pounds, two ounces. And he was reborn by Alexandra's babies. Now this little cherub, she is the real born Felicity Asleep by Bountiful Baby. She's also 20 inches and she is two ounces heavier than her brother. She is six pounds four. She was born on the 30th of January, 23. And she was also born. No, I'm reading it wrong one. Hang on. Yeah, Felicity, 20 inches, six pounds six. Yeah. Oh, she was born on the 9th of December, 22. So she was my Christmas baby that year, wouldn't you? Hey, and when they opened it, I was so ecstatic. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. Put that on wrong way. Like I said, um, Suzanne had this sculpt and she sold it. Sold it? Gosh, I don't think I'd ever part with her. I know you should never say never, like you know, but no word on this horizon at present. I think this sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. I think she's like a little angel. But I mean, I'm biased, I'm a mummy, you know. You might look at her and think she looks like Chucky. <laughs> that's that's what, um, who was it? Was it Jackie, Harry? I said that Oliver, <laughs> Oliver looks like Chucky. I said, I'll chuck your bloody head in a minute, you cheeky bugger. I said, he doesn't. I said, why are you saying he looks like Chucky? I said, because Chucky, <laughs> Chucky had red hair. I said, don't be so cheeky. How dare they? How dare they? Can't say you look like Chucky, can they, sweetheart? Hey? No. You like little angel. Especially when I put it in white, I think she looks stunning. Let's put your wispy bits down again. I don't know why they keep doing that. It's only up front. Oh, so she lies on her tummy. That's the only position our cat had stopped crying, was on her tummy. I remember once, on a Thursday, I used to put her in pram and walk it to my mum's. You know, and then Kerry used, that was my ex-husband, used to pick me up from work. He only used to work, like, in that area. So on his way home from work, he used to pick me up. He used to leave um, 
carrying up my mums and we used to do our shop, you know, our weekly shops. And when I was going to my mum, she was only tiny, obviously. And Eileen, that I was on about before, that I used to play with, her mum said, oh, Chris, let's have a look. Let's have a look at your baby. You know how they do. She went, oh, my goodness, she's on her face. She's on her face, Chris. I went, yeah, that's funny, time. That's funny where she'll sleep. She said, you're not frightened of suffocating. But like saying, sometimes I wish you bloody would. Oh, that kid put me through it. Do you know, Kerry's mum used to have mass said for me every Sunday because she was that bad. Cried, 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 cried all the time. And she used to hate women. She used to go to men, a bit like a mum. But um, she wouldn't go to any women. Yeah, his mum used to have mass said for me. On a night, um, like, because Kerry worked, obviously. So, no matter how many times she cried, he won't get up with her. I think that block only took... Did they have one? one? Did they only have Karen? I can't remember whether they had, I had... Just had Karen or both of them. They only took them out once at pram. I love seeing men on their own pushing prams. Love it. You know, with the babies out. There's nothing nicer, but he never took mine. And as I'm saying, no matter how many times she cried, he won't get up. So I had to get up all the time. And uh, one night I'd had enough, I forget how many times I'd been up, and I went and got her out of, out of a cot and I just threw her, threw her on the bed, you know, towards Kerry. And she just went bump, bump, bump along the bed, and then just looked up and laughed. I went, Yeah, you will laugh, you little bugger. And then uh, during the day, I mean, I'd get done for it now. I used to radio up, put her in a pram and stick it out garden. My mum used to go mad. She used to go mad. She said, if anything happened to that child, you'd never forgive yourself. I said, well, put it this way, mother. If I don't put her down the garden in a pram, something will happen to this child. I said, I'll strangle her. Because I always said, like, oh, how can they kill the babies? Because it was up tell it the other day somebody killed a baby. And I said to Paul, oh, how can they kill a little baby? I'm like, man, you, our cars come close quite a few times. But like she said, in our day and age, there was none of this, like, these, what is it, Farmer Brown? No, not Farmer Brown. Dr Brown bottles, you know, if they've got colic and all this lot. Because India was like that. She used to have that special milk and these special bottles. And the milk absolutely stank. And when she was sick, it was as bad when it came back. But like our cousin said, we had, we had nothing like that. You know, when we was, when we had ours like 70 years ago, um, there was nothing. And you know, and you just, if you had a crying baby, you just got on with it. You just, just say, oh, it's wind or something like that. You know what I mean? She had, I bet I had that. That's why I kept crying all the time. And you won't get me sorted about Karen. There was nothing like that when when we had you. Good heavens. Yeah, how times change, yeah. I know it revolves like some things are for the better, but I think some things are for the worse myself. I don't know. I mean, at least you could put your kids up front in the pram, couldn't you? You couldn't do that now. I remember once when Karen was only little and he was walking into town. And one time I left her outside of Woolworths in a pram and I went in shopping and I bumped into my best friend's sister and she said, Chris, where's your baby? I said, she's outside it, pram, is it? She said, you've not left her out there, have you? Not being nasty, she said, why didn't you bring her in? But like I was so naive, you know what I mean? You didn't know if it do these things. God, I know now. I won't leave a bloody cat unattended round here. Some big wazzy. Right, so, enough moaning and groaning. I'm off. Yeah, I'm going to leave it up now. So, I shall see you tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you very much for dropping by once again. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all your comments. Um, I don't think I watched many videos last night. I kept dropping my phone and nodding off. I watched Lisa's. I watched Debbie's. Um, I watched Michelle's, but I didn't um, comment on it. Um, I watched another lady's that got a, a box opening, because I love watching box openings. Some at B's. 
uh, forget what it's called. She's got a nice baby and gorgeous outfits. Anyway, I'm going to go. So if I didn't watch a video and... Uh, or watch thingies as well, Donna's. Watch Donna's. She would have did a little one. It's only about seven minutes, I think. Then I turned my lights off and went to sleep. I was shattered. Kept, as I say, I kept dropping my phone out. Keep picking it up. Or flow it. Which didn't do me back any good. Right, so. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. So, look after yourselves and your precious loved ones. And keep smiling. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if I like that on her, you know. I think it'd be better on a bigger baby, do you? It sort of swamps her, doesn't it? I wonder if that's only supposed to be up to knee. Or whether it's supposed to be down there, I don't really know, do you? But I do love the bottoms. I think the bottoms are lovely. So anyway, it could keep her warm. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Okay then. Bye-bye. Big kiss from me and the babies. I love you all. Bye-bye, everyone. See you soon. Bye.